Hello and welcome back to another video guys. Now it has been a while since I've done one of these but today we are going to go out and about and do a little bit of Blu-ray hunting. Um, yeah I, I got a nice little bit of uh, spending money for my birthday so I thought why not we'll go out and um, we'll splash some of that. So yeah we're going to go out today. Just going to go to my usual, nowhere different but um, I haven't been to my nearest HMV CEX in probably whenever the last video was which must be about two months ago so it has been a long time so i'm really looking forward to getting in that cex um seeing what they've got in stock and um yeah then we're gonna go to hmv i kind of want that that uh highlander set but i'm gonna see i'm gonna see how i feel in the moment see if i find anything else in hmv um but yeah let's get going <laughs> First stop for today, super exciting this one. We've come to get some petrol. So yeah, gonna be spending about 50 quid here on liquid. Because it is a liquid if there's any Americans watching. It's not gas. So today, that's right, we're heading off just to the normal shops. I'm not really looking for anything in particular, but like I said earlier, I've got a bit of birthday spending money. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking at maybe getting that uh, Highlander set. I haven't actually seen the movie, but the set looks beautiful. And I hear the film is really good as well, so. You know, there's enough reasons there to get it. And I love those box sets that have been coming out for movies like this at the minute. Um, so, yeah, we're looking to get that. And, yeah, I'm just quite excited actually to go to CEX. Because it's been so long since I've been into my CEX that the new stock should genuinely be quite good. Um, so, yeah, very, very excited to see what's going on in there. And then, yeah, I might pop into another couple of shops. I'm going to see what the damage is on the <laughs> money-wise um, before I think about any other shops. Um repping the Mercedes merch as well today. I think this video is going out probably Monday or Tuesday, so the race will be over, but you know, it's a good day to be a Mercedes fan. We're in P1, P2. Um, come on, Lewis, this is it. This is where you get the win. As this video is coming out after, people already know if I'm depressed or not. Um, but anyway, enough of that. I don't think many people watch me probably care about Formula 1. Um, so yeah, no, I'm, I'm genuinely quite excited to go out and have a look at, um, you know, what, 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 up today so i'm very very excited um and yeah so we'll, we'll, we'll have a look we'll have a look around them um, let's say i was also thinking about maybe getting some of those um movie editions because i don't really have too many of them and all of the movie films in my collection i've now watched so i wouldn't mind picking up a couple more of those uh, there are a couple i've i've had my mind on but then again it also just depends on what the stock is like in hmv because we know what HMV is like sometimes, their stock isn't exactly the best. So, um, but yeah, anyway, we're gonna go in there, we're gonna have a look, and I'll do some recording. So, I'll see you guys when we're in there. And we've landed, there we are. Sorry, no footage of me actually parking, so I had to reverse into a spot. So, yeah, but we've landed, we parked. Let's get out there and do some Blu ray hunting. First up, here we go into HMV. First up, I went over to the 4K section where they got a 2 for 24 deal on. There's Pet Cemetery, Beetlejuice, The Shining, all of the Star Wars movies. Great deal if you've just got into buying 4Ks. There's a lot of really good titles in here. Moving over here, we've got Scream, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, Robin Hood, the Russell Crowe one. Didn't even know that was out in 4K. Spider Man No Way Home there. Really good film, The Purge Collection. Uh, films I've just been watching for the first time. Uh, the Northman exclusive set, still in at the minute. We'll pick that up while you can. Get Carter, a set I'm very interested in picking up. Lightyear, still have yet to pick this film up. Really want it, really need to get it. You can see a little placeholder there for Don't Worry Darling. Didn't realise there was that much anticipation around that movie, to be honest. The Green Knight Steelbook, beautiful film, beautiful steelbook there. Looks really good. Over into the regular Blu-rays, we got The Lost City there, The King's Man, 
Dead Man Shoes, really good film there. Elvis, just got this myself on 4K for my birthday. Uh, Bullet Train, already in the 2 for 25. Pretty good movie. You've got Bombshell there, a film I've been meaning to watch. Wouldn't mind picking that up. The Blues Brothers, great film there in one of those VHS sets. Chaos Walking, if anyone remembers that film already. And then down here you've got Free Guy, the two Fisherman Friends movies. Wouldn't mind checking those out at some point myself. And then over here we've got a little Clint Eastwood, the man with no name collection. Licorice Pizza, I need to see this film. Really need to watch it. Little Women, great movie, really good. And the Jurassic World collections there. And some other really good films here. We've got um, Reminiscence, pretty forgettable film. Spencer, absolutely fantastic movie. This is England. The 355, didn't even realise I bothered putting that out on Blu-ray. Uh, Twins, great film down there. Uh, Top Gun. And then over here, we're into the movie collections. Drive My Car, fantastic movie. A um, lot of really good titles. There's another new movie released there. Uh, Blue is the Warmest Colour. Parasite. See the Bong Joon-ho collection there as well. Uh, into the Horror, Firestarter. Forgot this film ever come out. Uh, the... Um, Pete Cushion, Frankenstein set there, which I'd really love to get. Uh, the Evil Dead trilogy. Let's see another Purge film down the bottom there. Spiral Scream again. And now we're heading off into CEX. A lot of flashing lights there. <laughs> uh, first up, we got Ant-Man and the Wasp there. We got an Annabelle film. Um, up here, we've got... Where are we going, James? Uh, Don't Look Now, a set I probably should have picked up thinking about it. Beautiful collection here for Dune. I'm not sure if I'm guessing something was meant to be in there. It doesn't say Dune on the spine, though, so that would probably irritate me a bit. Another set I really wanted to pick up, the Dam Busters, but the spine was absolutely battered at the bottom there. You can't really see, um, but it was really, really wrecked, so I didn't pick that one up in the end. Some Game of Thrones there, the Godfather films, Hellraiser, Harry Potter, a lot of great stuff here. Coming over here, look at this, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, £30. This is the Arrow Video uh, version of the film I have as well, so it's nice to know that I've got a nice little uh, rare Blu-ray there, I guess. We've got the Lord of the Rings films at Lamb there, without the slip, unfortunately, because um, with the slip, for uh, I think it was £9 there, that would have been a great deal. Really good film as well. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street collection there, The Living Dead. Old. Honestly, forgot that film come out as well. Paul, really good film there. Prometheus. Uh, got Look at his Star Wars collection. Look at how damaged the spine is by light. It's just, that was horrific. Scream trilogy up there. You've got the It double pack. Prequel set here. I love the prequels, you know me. And I didn't realise that those um, sets for each Star Wars trilogy come in nice hardback boxes. So that was nice. Viking collection. Venom, Let There Be Carnage, terrible movie. And yeah, finish off on some X-Men films there. So we're out, heading home now. And when I say I haven't had very good luck, I mean I haven't had very good luck. So um, I got one thing. Yeah, I know, one, not the best. Um, but I'll show you all of that when I get home. So I'll see you all soon. And we're back, there we go. So yeah, guys, I'm not gonna lie, before we get on to the actual item I picked up, um, yeah, not a good selection today. First off, HMV, man, like, you know, Highlander box, I thought, okay, we're going for the backup War of the Worlds, uh, the new set that's come out for that. Also not available. Uh, <laughs> um, and literally just the selection was really not good. There was a few films I had in mind, I was scattering my brain for, and um, they just had literally nothing in but one um, thing that I wanted. So HMV selection was really poor. Then, of course, went into CEX, and CEX did have some good stuff, but it was stuff I'd already got. The only couple items they had that I was interested in, the boxes were battered. Other than that, again, terrible selection, and, like, HMV, uh, sorry, CEX started doing this thing, well, they'll, they'll have, like, a, um, they'll have a Blu-ray, but they, they would have taken the, the bit of paper out and have put it in a DVD case, there was so many like that, and it's like, do people actually buy this? <laughs> this is terrible. Um, I then went into um, Asda to have a look for um, just just to see what their selection was like. See if there was anything of interest in there. Again, nothing. But I didn't really expect much from there. Then I went into games, see if they had any good deals on some Switch games. And I'm also after a PS5 game called, I think it's called Kenya. I, I should know the name of the game I want. Um, but it's like just a cheap six-hour game. Um, and 
game didn't have that. <laughs> then um, uh, didn't have any good deals on Switch games. Big surprise. So I literally come home with the one item I found in HMV. Um, so yeah, and it, you know, don't get me wrong. I, I, I obviously wanted this movie. I picked it up and I'm excited to watch it. But it's nothing incredible either. So kind of a wasted journey, to be honest. But anyway, let's have a look what I got. So what I picked up was indeed a movie Blu-ray. Um, it's upside down. Um, so yeah. It, yeah uh, anyway i've been meaning to watch this movie um a few people told me it was quite good it's pretty new out 15 quid um and yeah so mm. there we go so let's open it up and have a look <laughs> now i can't remember what you get with the movie do you get is it art cards there's so many things that i've collected now i can't remember what you get with the movie blu-rays and what you don't but i really do love the packaging i like the spines how they all match up um, I like the fact that they're in kind of like Criterion cases and they make full use of this um, artwork. And in here we have got... Oh, nice. So we've got... We do indeed have um, some art cards. And um, here is the inside. Let's pop the disc out there. See what's behind that one. Just carries on the picture. And let's have a look at the art cards. Um, what one of these annoying bits of paper, they're so annoying these, they're like, only just come off, um, oh jeez, hang on, give me a minute here folks, <laughs> we're nearly there, we're nearly there, there we go, <laughs> so here's the cards, here's number one, number two, number three, number four, Five and six. So yeah, pretty nice there. You know, I, I say I'm, I'm excited to watch this. I'm, I'm I'm always looking at growing my movie collection because um, th this is my um, eighth one. This is my eighth one. So um, yeah, it's slowly growing. And um, I've genuinely really enjoyed all the films um, that I've seen in this collection so far. So I'm um, very excited to c carry on and give this one a watch. Why would we do it later today, to be fair? As I say, um, as I said earlier on in the video, you know, we've got the race on tonight, so maybe after the race, I'm going to do this off screen because Jesus Christ. Um, see what I did there? It's a religious movie. I said Jesus Christ. Go and bet it, I'm pathetic sometimes. Anyway, <laughs> there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video as always. Sorry, um, might not have been as long as intended if I found some more things. I'd have a few more things to talk about here at the end of the video, but I didn't find anything else, so that's all I've got for you. <laughs> uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching as always. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like the video, leave a message. And as always, I'll see you next time for another video. Bye-bye.